guys, buddies. I'm here at Bulhoon and yes, the historic Bulhoon town. And we are right now at the entrance, the gate entrance of uh, Bulhoon Parish Church. And I'll just show you a bit around um, the church, the museum, and maybe, sorry, it's quite loud, but maybe an, more around Bulhoon. And I've just learned that the name of the name of Bulhoon is actually from Bolho, which means sprout water. We are going to go inside the not only the church but also the museum next to the church. Now you will see a lot of historic artifacts, statues, painting. For the church, of course, we are going to pray and see that Bulhoon has a beautiful church here. And not only that, Bulhoon has a lot of beaches, tourist spots that you can go around, swim, and stay at. It's an adventure for all of us. And maybe you can learn a bit more about this as we go along as well. And I hope you and I hope you have fun watching this video and of course be educated. This church, the church of the Nuestra Señora Patrocinio de Maria, was declared as a national culture treasure in 2001 by the National Museum of the Philippines. It was built by the Agassinian in 1783. If you also look at the ceiling, it is painted with biblical scenes and the church symbolisms made by a local painter named Marino Villarreal during the early 1900s. Buddies, we are here at the parish museum entrance. Unfortunately, we can't take videos and photos inside the, inside the museum. But I'm with Miss Corinne right now, and she would be she would be the one to just tell you what's inside the museum. Hello, ma'am. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Bolo on Parish Museum. So what can you tell us in what's inside the museum? All right, so the Bolon Parish Museum houses three galleries. Mm -hmm. The first gallery we have religious artifacts dating back to 18-1900s. While the second gallery we have their parish records. The earliest preserved register we have that was from 1793. It was a baptismal record. Then the third and last gallery we houses excavated artifacts which date back to 1500s, oh right? Wow, that is like a lot of, that is a lot of history in this museum right now. Yes. So, you can Yes, we really do not allow photography and videography inside. For safety, na put sa the parts. You have to stand by the rules. So thank you, Kaya, for a little bit of the insights about are at the museum here and what's inside. So there you go, mga buddies. A little bit of what's inside the parish museum. But in the meantime, I will go in 
Come on, let's stay. Bye bye. Look here, Paradise Buddies. This is not just simple stone. This is made from coral stones. I've learned that it's put together of a mixture of egg white and lime. Amazing, isn't it? Wow. Again, Paradise Buddies, we are on the right side of Bulohoon Parish Church. And as you can see right here, this is the old cemetery de Reza Bulohoon. During the early Spanish period until 1920s, this place used to be a cemetery. And that is why you would find a skull or crossed bones carved out from the coral stones at the cemetery fence. For health reasons, this cemetery was transferred to two kilometers away from here. Para lang mo safe safe lang sa ta. This is a Scuola Cattolica. Unlike the church, this one was built in 1940 as the Roman Catholic churches answer to the growing number of schools built by the Americans, whom to believed were teaching the people about Protestantism. This is where school children were housed for three days and taught catechism before their first communion. You might wonder why are there two staircases? The house was designed that way to separate the boys from the girls as they go upstairs. <sighs> the sun's energy is at its extreme. Luckily, I bumped into Manong who sells ice candy and fried donuts inside the church complex. Ah, hashtag relieved. Hello Paradise Buddies, if you can see behind me, this is 221 years old watchtower. This was built by warrior priest Father Julian Bermejo. And this is one of many watchtowers here in Cebu. If you're going to be traveling around on this island, I bet you'll be seeing not only this one, but others around here. So it's really nice that we're, that we're seeing all of the old houses even though some people are like taking them down and then building new ones at least most people here in Balaon are preserving the old old, um, old cultures and old buildings nila, just to see that we still have we still have a bit of the history with us just like a, just like the old church Hmm? 
Ano ba? Ba? Sige, sige. Ano? Oh, Julia! Uy! Kapag yan na, ako nang kitrin, kaya hindi siya kumina na sunod sa una, bunala na ako siya. Muna makalungo siya na, may six weeks siya nga. Ako siya bunala na ako. At bantis mo na yung una-una ang kabayo. Kaya nga, ikaw nang training. Kapag ako, asa naman siya na pita para hindi siya mabun. Hindi mo siya makikitan ka sa mga bayo. Hindi siya mga bayo. Malagi, malagi kay Lois at kaayos. Hindi ka kagpaagi nga, kabayo, mahalok ka na yun. Hihihi! Tuya, uy! Hi Paradise Buddies! I am with Kuya Bob... Kuya Bobby. Hi Kuya! And I've just finished my... Tartanilla ride. Tartanilla ride. Touring around Bulaon. Thank you so much for the ride, Koya. It was so, it was really fun, and especially when you kept on doing sa bell, na mud mudagan dagan sa ng horse, nalingaw jut ko maayo. And looking around sa mga old mga houses, thank you, thank you so much. I hope Paradise Buddies, I hope you like that touring around here. So thank you again, Koya. Bye. What a ride. Well, at least I turn around Bolohoon. Now let's look for another adventure and maybe ma kita na sa taglaing. Bye guys.